All right. Oh, there's something. Okay. Try one more time. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So down on the bottom, there's a chat. There we go. How are you? Well, after. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. Say it one more time. Uh, I was so afraid I wasn't going to get this to work. Now, I'm oh like, my God. Even if you, I know I could feel it. Even if you weren't able to, I would have rescheduled you for like beginning of next week. So you'd be okay either way. I would I'm make, so that's what I always do. Shh, you're fine. Don't worry about that. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. We're here. And I'm glad you're here. Believe me, I know how important it is. And so what ends up happening with people that like this, this is, this is a thing that sometimes happens and it's okay. It's okay. And, um, and so what I do is like the next week when I have a not so extremely long day, then I just add you on as like an extra appointment to my day. Okay. Yeah. So you're good. Okay. So with that being said, welcome in. We have a lot of stuff to go over. Um, normally I'm in my session room, but currently I'm at my mother-in-law's house for a I, month. Okay. I just watched your live. <laughs> oh, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> you were there. Oh my God. Wait, how long were you there for? I was there for probably a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe. So you saw <laughs> what I was saying. I saw part of what you were saying. No, it didn't. That's know why. About yes, that's you. About. Yes, that's you. That's why it was happening. That's why it was here because you were in the freaking live. Remember, I was like, he's here. He's here. He's here. I don't know why he's here. It's because you were in the live. How interesting. So we're, and people are like, how does that work? I was like a thought, a feeling, an emotion. Okay. We have a lot of stuff to go over. Oh, how weird. Oh, I love that. Oh, how cool. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Your voice is going out. Oh my God. Okay. So stay with me really quick. Um, okay. We are going to see. Okay. No, we're just going to see. So go ahead and say hi real quick. Just say, just hi. say something. Okay, good. Okay. We're going to see how far I get here. Now, for some reason, if you can't hear me for uh, 10 seconds, and if I can't hear you, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be taking this whole setup. I'm just going to like turn the camera off and I'm going to walk my ass with everything into another room because Perfect. right now it's working great, but for some reason they have super high speed internet, but sometimes it just drops and I can't do that while I'm channeling. Okay. Okay. So if it happens, I may interrupt it and say, we're going to go in here. Okay. So the reason why he was showing up is because you were on my live, which makes perfect sense now. And I'm so happy you were able to confirm that. So what we're going to have to figure out then is why is your son gone? And, um, did also while I'm here, did he have anything, anything to do with California? Yes. Okay, don't say anything else. Only reason is because I am from Texas, but currently I am in Temecula, California, right near Marietta and San Diego area. And well, an hour away from that. And he keeps saying the weather sucks now. And it is, it's raining right now. And he keeps saying it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. It's not normally like this. And there is a vibe about California. And so, um, but it's interesting because you don't have that feeling. So we'll have to figure that out. So stay with me. Let me go ahead and turn up my volume here. Um, and so... As we do this, I want to explain to you before we get started. I mean, we already have got started, but how this works. So I'm already super excited. We got to talk about um, how I channel. So you already know, but I get signs and symbols. I get feelings and emotions. They put me in different situations and they tell me, um, uh, sorry, they make me experience things as though I was experiencing through them, right? But then they use my brain. The last way is they do a whole lot of words and phrases. Also, please tell me if you can't hear me because I will get up and we will move. Okay. I will. I'll do something like this if I can't. Cool. Thank you. Because I, I, when I channel, I'm in flow and I don't want to cut it. Okay. So um, the other thing though, too, is that whenever we do channel these people, remember it's in love um, and it, it will help them. And from what I was gathering just from this person, like being here, let me go ahead and, and close this real quick, is that um, he wants to come through for you, obviously, but he really wants to come through for you. And he's, he's sad. <laughs> 
he was sad. Uh, and, and he's like sad about what happened to him. It almost feels like there's something that goes along with him. He keeps talking about um, confusion or feeling really woozy. So we'll have to figure out what that means. I don't understand that. Um, it, we'll, we'll open that up more. Um, but he would keep, he was standing like right there. Like you, I can't move my camera, but right in between these doors. And I had a dream about him last night. And then I pulled up my appointments and boom. And I'm like, holy crap. So hold on. He keeps coming up around you. He is so happy to be here and talking to you. He comes up and he just gives you the biggest warm hug and you just melt like that is all you want and he's huge and he wears really big clothes sometimes which is really cool I feel like his personality really did change he went from like this more like clean cut guy to like this more like gnarly surfer nerdy person for some reason I don't know we'll have to figure out what that is because he goes from he just showed me express clothing if you remember the store express from like the 90s and early 2000s yeah what my husband used to wear to like you know black hoodie and gaming and I'm like okay cool so he's half and half he says that um you would always tell him he's so handsome so we always thought he looked really really good he says that uh, uh, he want he keeps conveying the message that um that all he wanted to do was make you proud. He just wanted to make you proud and he still just wants to make you proud over and over again. And and you you have the feeling of like, you will, you will, you will, like even more than any other mother. I mean, I have a son and, and he wants you to know that, that he feels that he, um, he's not particularly, he's okay, but he's not happy that everybody else is so sad and and he understands why but it's really hard for him to cope and deal with it he uh he keeps saying he keeps like placing blame on himself for dying so i'll have to figure out what that means um i don't necessarily mm, but why he keeps saying i did this like i caused this sadness and i'm like oh okay great he says that but why <sighs> He has a hard time coping with things and he pushes them aside. He puts way too much stress on himself. He, it's weird. He's like a hyperactive introvert. Interesting. It's like, he's very smart, very intelligent, goes a million miles an hour, but he wants to like stay at home and like be quiet all at the same time. It's this back and forth thing. So, um, what's the best way for describe this personality? Um, he, where are you at? Hold on. Where were you living and what was going on and what <laughs> friends? Oh. You thought you could make a change and be different, obviously, but why? How? I keep trying to be computers and technology over and over and over again. And I'm just going to leave that there. I don't know what it is. I don't think he's an engineer, but mm -mm. I want him to like make computer games, but I don't know. Um, But. <laughs> He doesn't work for like Santa Monica Studios. I've had people that create video games, but it's even more than that. I wonder if he's like a planner. Mm -hmm. Hold on, what? He loves a good burger and fry. Um, <laughs> he loves a good, sorry, he's, He's just like walking around. So we just went to like In-N-Out earlier today and like Farmer Brothers or whatever. Cause when we come, I've been here for six hours now. And uh, he just made me feel like a hamburger if you take the foil down and you just eat it and it's like full of ketchup, that's weird. Um, he okay. says that, so that means his diet wasn't that great. One, <laughs> one, he is skinny fat. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so he's not so much focusing on his body anymore. He's talking about his diet, gave him a little bit of a pooch, but he's still like a, a fit, good looking man. He says that, was he like, ugh. hold on weird i want him was he like six foot one he was yeah he was six yeah. four he was okay so i'm i'm oh how interesting because i was gonna say he looks like a bear when he walks in like he's a really big guy and he kind of like hunches over a little bit and i can see his hair hanging down for some reason in my head and i'm six feet tall and he's taller than me and so when he walks in he got and you you just seem I don't think you're a small one, but I also didn't think you're five ten. You're probably what, maybe five eight, five seven. Yeah, I'm five eight. Yes. <laughs> okay, because when he hugs you, it's you, you still see. Yes, yes, but I know compared to me, you're not tiny. So, anyways, <laughs> um, you're smaller than me. Wait, hold on. Tell me what what happened.
Uh, what is up with, um, uh, hold on, left to right, left to right. Hang on, let me see. Give me one second. Hang on. Hang on. He keeps saying, I went back, I went back, I went back. But you're, there's like an odd period of like standing with his body. Interesting. Hold on. I'm going to try to figure out, I'm going to try to see if he knows how he passed. Um, he keeps saying nothing by you. It's nothing by you. It's nothing by you. Weird. Was he, he feels like my brother-in-law. He keeps mentioning him over and over and over again. Um, did he have anything to do with the army at one point? Yes. Oh, Okay, sorry, my brother-in-law was in the army and I just recently spent the past week with him um, and he keeps referencing him. Um, that's why he was so clean cut before then because he was military before and then, yes. ah, that would make sense. Okay, um, he, I was like, how do you go from this to this? Um, he keeps saying, tell me, bud. What? All oh, one. I don't know. Hang on. He's just like walking around. He keeps saying, I wish it would have changed. I'm trying to get him to tell me what happened to him. Change, 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 change. He feels alone. So y'all didn't live in the same city. I don't even know if y'all live in the same state. So this was he in California? Is that the thing? Okay. Yes. Um, Because he keeps showing me beach and walking out to the beach and like wanting to be there and like or being in that area. He keeps saying that. Um, I feel like he hermited away from you. Where are you at? You're not in California. Tennessee. Oh my God. So he's, oh, left or, oh, because over here to there. Okay. That makes sense now. Um, he kept going this and I'm like back and forth. What do you want me to look at? Um, hold on. Tell me. I'm sorry. You didn't get to say goodbye to him. I'm so sorry you didn't get to say goodbye to your baby. He um, he says, tell my mom I'm so sorry that she didn't get to say goodbye to me. Um, I know that he's he's very, very apologetic. Um, he says that, tell me, what? No talking, no nothing. He keeps making you say or in my head saying like my worst dreams were realized when I found out that my child had died like that so you found out he says that hold on so this is a surprise for even for you um all the way because he's talking about how you're like like that right so this big thing he's saying that um let me open this up for a second hold on what? What? He's he's okay, but he's he's trying to do better. What happened, bud? We have so many questions of like, was he alone? Was he in pain? Was he this? Was he this? Was he this? All these things going over and over again. It's weird because he just keeps showing me an image of him like falling asleep, but then he also keeps putting um he keeps showing me over and over again that it's, you know, his fault, that it's his issue. So I'm trying to figure out what that means. I'm trying to get him to, I have two things in my head and I'm trying to figure out which one. Hang on. Come here, bud. You're like really, really concerned for his well-being. Um, what? Hold on. Hold on. What happened, bud? Tell me. He keeps showing his cell phone next to him, obviously. So that means it almost feels like he's at his house. Um, what does like a cousin or a family friend have to do with anything? His Is he like helping friend. him? His best friend. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm like, and he keeps 
He drinks a lot. Um, he he drinks a lot. He drinks too much. He says that. I, I don't know. I know he caused it himself, but he's not giving me the end format. He might not know. Yeah, it's almost he's he's confused. He's very confused, but it causes him himself. And then he's like, I'm dead. Holy crap. Like, that's where that is. But it's because of him. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me just see if he can, like, show me things. Hang on. Did they end up just like finding him dead in his apartment? Weird, weird. He's talking about how they, he goes, they found me dead. They found me dead over they and over. Did, they did find him dead. Oh, they did, they did, ma'am. Okay, he, because he keeps talking about somebody going like doing this and he's stiff already. So I'm like, oh, that's great. I'm sorry. Um, TMI, he says that. smacked out of me what does that mean hold on i hope she knows i'm fine it's like partially him and partially somebody else i don't know exactly what this is he's very very confused on it he's very very sad he knows that he died he's talking about how it's like and he's just out he's gone he's out he's gone there's not a lot of like craziness that goes with it and then he like comes over and he's hanging out with you now that's it um hold on And then there was nothing anybody could do, obviously, but there's nothing anybody could do. I don't necessarily think this is a murder. I think this is going around with like somebody coming up. The way that it feels personally for me is like if somebody, he makes me feel like I got hit by a train, but it makes, but the way he makes me feel is like if somebody took a pill and it makes me fall asleep, but I know it's more traumatic than that. I know it's more intense than that. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. What, what happened with him? I want to know at this point, because he's, that's what Fentanyl. I'm getting. He was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he did fall asleep. Perfect. Yeah. Cause he goes like this. He keeps showing me that it just like punched him and out. And I go, well, tell me a little bit more about that. And then he keeps making me feel like I'm just falling asleep. Right. And so I'm like, okay. And then he's talking about how it's because somebody else gave it to me or somebody else did this to me, but it's not a murder. And so that's why I'm like, it's not like that. Um, and then he keeps talking about just wanting to fall asleep, just wanting to fall asleep. So that's where that comes from. He says that, um, but he had like messed with that stuff before. That's the whole thing. Not that and all, but he, he did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. We're just going to leave that there. He, um, he's talking about how because there, there are times when I have sessions and the spirit will say, you know, like, oh, I've never done drugs or anything. This was just like a one-time party thing and holy crap. He's like, well, you know, <laughs> like that. And so I'm like, okay. He says that, what, buddy? Yeah, he was spot on. He was making me feel it. But the way that it felt for him is he's talking about, I did this to myself. And I took this. I fell asleep. I saw blackness. And that was it. And then people found me dead like holy crap and at the point where he passed away it's like he's so scared he's so nervous about what happened with him that guess where he went he went to be with you he went he went to go be with you and that's why the biggest thing for him in showing me is whenever you figure out that he's passed away and so like that is the biggest thing for him because he's there right with you as this is happening and he's apologizing over and over and over again as you're panicking and he's he's so apologetic for it and so he didn't go and hang out with his body for a long time he like died and went to see you like that's it okay that sounds and like him it was because he just loves you and he doesn't want to disappoint you because you are his biggest hero. You are his bigger superstar. You are the person that love and appreciate him the most and also like pushed him up and made him a better person. You know, he, you know what? I bet that's why on TikTok um, today and yesterday when we were driving there, uh, there was this one uh, channel that came up 
and it was called Every 11 Seconds. And it was Every 11 Seconds, Somebody Dies of Fentanyl. And it's a video on the people that had their people taken away from them. And I was like, why is this on my For You page? This is interesting. And then it showed up today, like this morning again. And I was like, hmm, I wonder why this is happening. Because I hadn't talked about that. That's what will happen. And I bet that's, so not only the dream, this, he was very blue. He was very dark over here. But he's a really, really good guy. He's so smart. Wait, so tell me about things. Tell me about things. What do you know? What do you know? Hmm. Tell me. Tell me what happened afterwards. What happened afterwards, bud? Was he at a friend's house when this happened? He was at his apartment. But he oh. was downstairs. Downstairs. Oh, so he was at his apartment. Okay. Okay. So was he, what, what is downstairs versus at his apartment? Is that just like in. They found him in the road. Oh. That would be why. Oh, so that's why he kept mentioning his apartment over and over again. Yeah. He keeps talking about um, people coming up to him, walking up to him and being like, hey. Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, obviously he's not locked in his house because nobody would be there, right? So that would, he's talking about how, but why? He'd been doing some pretty intense drugs for quite a little bit though. He'd been doing them, but it's almost like he was not an addict. He was just doing them heavily, like recreationally. That's almost what it feels like. Um, just to like cope, to deal. He's not somebody that's like, let me go get a needle and inject myself with heroin. He's not that way. I just want to let you know, I know that. Um, but he definitely was playing around with the wrong stuff. And, and hold on. What? I wonder if a couple other people have already died in that area from this, or if we figured out like a couple other people have already died from this that are like in his group. Have we found that out already? What happened? No, um, but it was his roommate who gave him the number of the person who gave it to him. Like he, his roommate was honest enough to tell me that he gave him the guy's number that, that gave, gave him the him. bad stuff. Yeah. So, and I don't, I don't know anything anymore because his girlfriend has really just shut me out. Um, and the roommates, of course, they were brand new roommates. I didn't even get to really hear much about them because they were brand new roommates. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, in California, everybody's got to live with everybody because of the cost of living. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. So that's why there's so many roommates. How interesting. Oh, I know about the cost of living here. Yeah. Oh, that's why I haven't moved here yet. Yeah. He. Um, oh, so that was the girlfriend. So earlier before we had a session. They kept talking about this like girlfriend thing. Um, they had been together for about a year. A little bit longer. Do you know? Cool. Okay. Yeah. He's talking about how he kept bringing up girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. He kept talking about how, or this female that he's attracted to and how it had been like, like this little relationship, but how it was just kind of like coasting at that point. Um, I don't think she can really stand up to you. I think she's pretty meek for you and you like really... Mm, I don't know. You and her would almost be like oil and water. FYI. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I knew she wasn't. I know, yes. Yeah. You know, parents know everything. Oh, I know. I know. I know and you. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I thought they were on the verge of breaking up. They were, they were just coasting. And what I mean by that is like, kind of like, okay, we're together, but you know, mm, that type that's, of thing. That's what I thought. Yeah. I mean, but also she. She ended up passing out that night too, and they had to revive her as well. From the same thing? Yes. Yes. So there was somebody that was affected by it as well then? Yes. So she was affected by this? Yes. Okay. 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 That's okay. So that would make sense. Yeah. Cause he kept talking about how there was another person or somebody else. He's talking about the pill that somebody got affected by this or somebody would have died from this. And so that was her. Oh, so he had already passed away before she was revived. 
I'm not really sure how it happened, yeah. but I feel like him dying saved her life. That's what she, that's what he's talking about. So he's talking about how, um, I go, so how did this work out? He says, I was dead. My soul came over and tried to bring her up or tried to get the people over to like revive her. So FYI, it's like your son's soul because of him passing was able to keep her alive. So she can do, Ooh, hold on. I hope she takes that near death experience seriously me too i don't know if she will right now i agree good yeah i don't know if she will i if she did the sky is the limit if she doesn't it almost feels like this could happen again within like a year two years um and i don't know if it'll go nearly as well so but that again goes into choice like we gave you a gift you know do you yeah so hang on let me ask a little bit more so come back over here what happened more oh wait oh all I hear you saying is you say, I can't burn my baby. That's what he keeps making me hear over and over again. Did we not cremate him? I did cremate him. You did. You did. Oh, it's because so I, hard. It was so not knowing what he wanted. He was just 27 and I didn't know what he wanted. And I got with all of his good buddies and they said this was what he would want. Yeah, I keep hearing your voice saying I can't burn my baby like that. And but then he talks about how um, he says he didn't have to go in a really big box. And that's why I was like, wait, so did we stop it? Did we not? Did we go into that? That's the whole thing. He says that. um, Did you not get any of his hair? He just showed me um, an image. He showed me a lock. He cut it off. He put it in a plastic bag. He taped it to a container and then he put an X over it. And I'm like, oh my God. So we didn't get this. Like there is not the ability to do that. He says that one. Do you have his little dog tags or what is the necklace thing about? What is that? Uh I do have his dog tags. Well, you do too. And what is this about? Is that Mm, him? I have ashes and his fingerprint on my necklace. (laughs) Oh, is that what that is? Oh, how interesting. Oh, I've been thinking that's the Tiffany heart the entire time. How cool. How cool. He goes like this. He goes around my neck, around my neck, around my neck. And I was like, okay. And so, and then he shows me dog tags. He gives them to you and then he goes back and touches it again. So that's why that he says that. Tell me, bud. What? He just wants to be with you. He just wants to be with you. He's like, tell me. Is he the only son? No. Weird. He has this feeling of like, I sit there and I'm the only one that would sit there and talk to you and like sit with you while you have coffee or like pour coffee. Like he is the alpha omega beginning and end. Interesting. For me, that's only son. He says that, tell me. <sighs> Who's like the little girl? I don't, know, I don't know if she's little anymore. Hang on. Give me a second. <laughs> Hold on. Let's figure this out. He didn't have a daughter, though. He didn't have no. a daughter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like he keeps talking about this little girl. I almost want to call her like, um, like my nickname was like Sweet Pea growing up from my mom. Like it's like, we <laughs> love them. But that was my nickname. We. My granddaughter is Sweet Pea, <laughs> and it would be his niece. <laughs> Shut up! Really? Yes. <sighs> oh, he just made me my. Oh, I'm gonna cry. 
he just made me hear my mom's voice. She should call me sweet, sweet pea, come in here. And I'm like, all right. Oh my God. Okay. So know that he knows about her. Yeah. So that's why Is she's super, super close to him and you like really, really close. They tried, but the distance was so far away from oh. each other, but they tried. But oh. when he come home, they would play and yeah, but he always called her sweet pea. Sweet pea. <laughs> he loves this little girl adores her oh he loves you oh that's so perfect yeah he knows all oh I haven't had a name like that in a long time that's cool he says that he he's doing this he's getting really good at it what are you doing he keeps showing me his hoodie 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 do you have his black hoodie or where is that at or like the big 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 dark colored one where is that at yes I have a black jacket that he used to always wear mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He puts it on me and like the shoulders fall off of me. And so I'm yeah. like, you, yeah, he's making me feel this tangibly. He says that, what? So you cook breakfast, you make pancakes. It's a whole thing. Um, he talks about how, tell me. What is she doing? <coughs> is this from Carpal Tunnel? My uh, not from you falling? <laughs> Uh, you you know, I don't know what it is. It just started hurting really bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is what I said. I go, I go, tell me about this. What is this? And I go, I go, what is this from? I said, I bet she fell or something like that. He goes, no, 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 no. And he just made me see all of my um, tendons in my hand move. And I'm like, I bet that's carpal tunnel. And he's talking about, it's interesting. Like, I want you to go in and get it checked out. And I think it can, mm, I think you're going to have flare ups back and forth. So I think you may end up having a little bit of surgery and like, that's okay. So just know that he'll be with you on that and don't be too tough to not go get it looked at. <laughs> okay. That's what yeah. he keeps telling. Cause you're like, Oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll do it later. Please go get it looked at. He says that. Tell me, bud. What? Hold on. What, what, what? What is she doing? Well, where is she going? Oh, he keeps showing me Florida and you're not going to Florida. Um, he keeps showing me, are you going to Florida? Tell me you're not. Are you really? I grew up in Florida. My parents oh, my still God. live there. That's so crazy. Okay. He's just, he's, we were there for Disneyland, obviously, you know, world, whatever. And then he keeps making me feel like toes on the sand on the beach. And I was like, why are you showing me California? And he's like, no, 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 Florida. Talk about Florida. I'm like, okay, fine. He's saying that. Um, and he keeps talking about you, like walking on the beach and saying like, I miss you. I miss you, man. I wish you were here. I miss you with that. And he's talking about being with you in these moments. Um, sunsets are a really big thing for him right now. It's like, maybe that's that time you go and you like, you know, relive this with him. He says that, what? So tell me about her life. Tell me about her life. Oh, it's always, oh wait. Okay. So you and his dad are divorced. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I go, so tell me about her life. Is she married to your dad? What's going on? He goes, no, it was just always like me and my mom, me and my mom. I go, okay. And so apparently he had a relationship with his father on some level because we're not necessarily like calling him out all the way, but it kind of like feels a little bit distant. Like if we're coming to see people, we're coming to see you mainly, yes. you know, he says that, um, what? Okay. So you're married right now? No, but I'm oh. in, it's, it's a 12 year relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. So this is the only reason I say is because he's talking about walking in this house um, with a lower ceiling. I don't know why, like in the <laughs> entryway. I don't understand. Um, now, anybody with six foot four, that'd be a thing. And he's talking about saying hi to somebody. Hey, but like coming up to you and giving you a hug. So for me saying <laughs> hi means there's this person living here. He says that. Uh, so you were the keeper of the dogs for a while. Is that what was going on? Do you still have dogs? I have a dog. Yeah, cool. Okay, because he's talking about like walking in. And again, everything is small compared to this guy walking in and saying like, hi, hi. I don't think this dog is necessarily small. I think for me personally, let's figure this out. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Ooh, this may be, this is going to be really, really wrong. Um, have you ever had like a Doberman? No, no, but Weird. when he saw the dog, she was a puppy. 
Oh, so, so she was little small. Bitty. Yeah, she was little bitty. Okay, okay. But is she's it a big like a dog? Yeah, okay. Is it like an eighty pound dog or something like that? Yeah, she's probably yeah. Okay, okay. What type of dog is it? Because he's making me she's feel like. Lab. Oh, so she is. Okay, okay. He just made me see um like a chocolate colored Doberman pincher, like that, not pincher, but Doberman, you know, the big ones with the pointy ears. Um, and he just made me feel like that. But I'm like, there's this dog running up to us. We're very excited to see it. So I'm like, it can't be mean. He says that, hold on. How old? Can you tell me? Is your dog seven? No. How old is she? She's probably five. Five. Okay. Oh, so she is younger. Okay. This is what he says. I go, how old is this dog? I said, I bet she's 11 or 12. And he goes, no, no, no. And he goes, younger, younger, younger. And he makes me feel like six and seven. And I was like, okay, so five, I'm okay with that. Um, He says that dog's ages are really hard to guess. It's more by how they look and how they feel. He says that, tell me about her. Tell me about what goes on in that house. Can you tell? This is what I like to ask. Like, what does he see? What does your home look like? That way you know that he's around. So I'm going to see if he can do this with me. Come here, bud. Did, wait, did everybody like still live in that apartment together for a while after he had already passed? Yes. Yeah. For a very short time. Yes. Okay. He's talking about how... Um, how people were walking around this apartment saying, man, I can't believe he died. I can't believe he died. This is where he was at. So like, there's time to talk about it. You know, um, he says that. Okay. I may have another name in a second, but it's just too weird for me and I can't say it. Um, have you been on my lives before? Before today? I, I watch you a lot. Okay, you know about the spirit of Gary? <laughs> I think okay. I can remember, yes. Okay, so I have a big crystal named Gary. And so either is somebody in your family or like, I don't know if he's just talking about Gary or is somebody named Gary? Her, His dad's name is Gary. <laughs> I'm just going to say this right now. Fucking Gary. Um, You, you have <laughs> heard of... Right. That's what I say. Okay. <laughs> That is the thing. Okay. He keeps bringing up, he shows me like my big geode I have in my bathroom that I'll bring in sometimes. It's huge. He keeps talking about, um, cause Gary was a, my, a drunk uncle, um, that was part of the Inuit tribe. And he was one of my clients, um, that he died. He fell through the ice and froze to death. And he's been hanging out with me for like a year and a half and I'll see his name everywhere, everywhere. And so right now they keep bringing up Gary, 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 Gary. And I'm like, what the heck? Okay. So that's his dad. Um, he says that, what do we feel that this Gary is the disappointment though very much so okay okay he goes I said so what about Gary how is he what does he do like where does he live at and he talks about man he's just a in disappointment and I was like oh okay he says that um I wonder if like that Gary smokes cigarettes and drinks all the time or something because he's talking about how he can be kind of trashy and I'm like whatever he says that tell me so tell me about mom Hold on. Where? Oh, so in Tennessee, you don't live in like a really, really big, you don't live like in Nashville or anything like that. So you live like outside. Okay. He's talking about how you live in like the trees or you live in like a wooded area or you live in like this type. Um, Cause I go to Tennessee and I go to Nashville. Or I go to like the rolling hill area where all the civil war stuff happened. Um, and he's saying what? He likes your house because it's home. It's home. It's home. It's home. Um, did you move after he went into the military? Is this like not his home where he grew up at? Right. Yeah. Okay. I go, so tell me about it. Tell me about your room. I said, if this is your home, he goes, no, oh, no. He goes, she moved after I went into the military. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, this is her like dream home or she really enjoys it. I go, okay, that's fine. He says yeah. that, um, uh, <laughs> you're a mover and a shaker you 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 know bring things in you kick them out he's talking about how you don't save a whole lot of stuff um he says that tell me what 
I'm guessing you're a person that will like file away things and you have boxes you'll bust out like you can I have no idea he's talking about kid art and photos and stuff like that so they're like filed in my head I have no idea why he's saying that um that's the best way I can describe this what tell me hold on you have a pretty big like good sized kitchen you have like a lot of cabinets inside of it everywhere yeah okay okay only reason he like has me i'm trying to get him to show me what your kitchen looks like or what this living room area looks like and he's giving me an idea but think about like he puts you in here and you have a pan and he's just talking about how you have enough you know area to store everything so i'm like, okay this is i'm like okay come on take me a little bit further he says that what hold on what does the house look like? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Walk me outside. Oh, he's so good. He's doing such a good job. Come here, bud. So if he would come here, would he like to? Is this like a one and a half story? Home? No. Weird. This is what he shows me. He talks about how when he stays here, he likes to stay in the back room or he would like to stay in the back. Like, that's all I'm telling on that. But then he talks about being able to go upstairs, but it's not like a whole, it's a single story, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, he tell me. We have a garage that is like an upstairs. Oh, Oh, you can go up, I mean, but it's a garage. <laughs> it's a garage, though. OK, yeah, that's the only thing. He talks about how he likes to go upstairs, but it doesn't feel like it's a room. It doesn't feel like it's a place where we inhabit. And I'm like, what is this? One and a half stories? He says that. Um, Tell me. I feel like you'd be able to hear him walking down the hallway. Um, Hold on. Your son hangs out with you. He hangs out with you. Um, I'm guessing you curl up on your couch a lot with like a blanket over you or something. Like that's a whole thing. And like the dog there. And he's just talking about like coming in and seeing this. He's saying that. What? Do you like not eat popcorn as much anymore because of your teeth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so, so random <laughs> i know i know i know okay so this is what he i know that didn't make any sense but this is what he says he's talking about sitting there and like you curled up with a blanket on like this couch like this and then he's talking about how he used to like to eat popcorn it was like a big thing to like sit here and like have movies or watch a show and then he says oh but she doesn't do that anymore because of her teeth and i'm like okay well i'll tell her about that um <laughs> he's just he's just wanting to let you know that he's around hold on one Y'all ended up having a memorial for him. He's talking about um, visuals or something. He's talking, he just shows me candlelight, which means for me, that means I had a memorial for us. He says that, um, <sighs> did this happen like during COVID though? Yes. Oh, okay. He says, I go, he just showed me mask. He showed me restrictions. And I was like, I don't necessarily think you had restrictions with where you were at, but he's just talking about how California was a big issue. And I know coming to California when there was COVID, it's always a big issue on everything. But he's talking about how, um, what? Did they end up doing cremation over there and not over where you're at? No, here. They did oh, it here. So they did do it here. So that's why I, he was right. Oh. I had him flown home. So that's why he was with his body for a long time. That's interesting. Remember in the very beginning, I go, he's talking about staying with his body. Like, I don't understand because he was with it the entire time. He says that, um, tell me, bud. Odd things he's making me remember. Very odd. Um, He's making me hear nursery rhymes. He's making me hear um, Baby Beluga. That doesn't make any sense because you don't listen to that, nor did you sing that to him. Um, he's making me hear what? Hold on. Did he want to work in tech? What was he doing with that? What is all the software is in like that? But he's not he, an engineer. He was working at IBM when he died. He was at IBM. Oh my yeah. God, no wonder. What was he doing there? He was a coder. 
okay. I've never had a coder before. How interesting. Yeah. Mm. He should have showed me the matrix. Interesting. He says that he was so good. He was so proud. He was doing so good. He says that what? Do you celebrate his birthday every year for him still? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he just showed me an image of um, a balloon and a little cupcake in my head. And he's just talking about how we light a candle. And I go, okay, good. And he says, let's see if we can get that. Um, what? Who is... Okay, he keeps talking about a water sign. I know he's not a water sign. Is somebody a Pisces or a Cancer? Who's a water? You are. And his sister is a Cancer. Oh, you're the Pisces? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how weird. Oh, how cool. He goes like this. He shows some. Um, he just made me hear the ocean. And I go, what are you? I don't know. I think he's a fire sign. We'll have to get it just because of how he feels. But I know he has a lot of earth underneath him. But we'll get into that later. And I go, well, when is mom's birthday? And he says, it's coming up. And I was like, when? Like tomorrow, the next day. And then he shows me the sign for Pisces, like the dual fish. And But then he shows me a crab. And I was like, okay. So he just wants to let you know that he'll be there for your birthdays. Okay. He's, he says that when? When? Oh, are you like, are you around the 19th of March? When's your birthday? In February. Oh, you're February. Oh, okay. Okay. February what? 26. You are, you're right. Okay. Interesting. Oh, so you're right on the cusp. Interesting. Yes. He says that, um, he's talking about how your birthday is on the cusp. And so for me, my sister's is the 19th and that's on the cusp between Aries and, um, and Pisces. Okay. So that's why he says that, um, hold on. He was doing good. He used the wrong symbol for that. Is he a Leo or an Aries? I'm not sure. His birthday was in April. April when though? Well. He's an Aries. He's an Aries. He's a freaking Aries. Okay. Oh, how cool. How cool. Um, I, I can feel the proud from him. I can feel the quick. I can feel the, um, but I can feel the chill at the same time. That's what I'm saying is underlying. He, he's a very cool vibration. Tell me. So tell me, what do you want now? What do you want me to tell her? He literally wants me to tell you, like, he's watching, he's watching. He won't forget you. He doesn't forget you. He's not. He's always there. He says that he's the first thing you think of when you get up in the morning and is the last thing you think of when you go to bed. And, like, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about how you tell him good night and he's there for you. Like, you are always there. And you wonder if he hears you and he does. It's just really hard for him. He's, like, here when you're thinking this stuff, when you like take this pause in the kitchen and you have this like crying moment and you, and then you try to get yourself out of it. He's right next to you. You just can't feel him. And that's the terrible part, but he's talking about being around you in this moment and how you have absolutely no idea. So I want you to know that when you are in here, in that area, in that feeling that he's with you, he's saying that he has to look out for you because nobody else will. <laughs> Duh. Um, you're stubborn. You're strong. You're intense. You're feeling. Oh, what? Are you not going to start like a nonprofit for like mothers that have their kids pass of this or something? I've been thinking about what to do because I want to do something, but yet. I'm so wrapped up in my own junk. I know. That I don't feel like I'd be good, any good to anybody. Yeah. And I've, yeah. I've gotten into some groups with some women who have lost son their sons as well. Yeah. Because I really needed help in the beginning. Yes. I and know. so I'm, I, I, I want to do something, but I just don't know how to go about it or how to just do something you know I just 
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, but I get I it. You don't want him to be forgotten. I know you don't. Well, and that's the whole thing. So I said, what else do you want to bring up? And he's talking about how in the works or there's this thought process of wanting to have this, but there's an air of like, I don't know how to get there. And so the first thing would be in this, let's get into this. Hang on. He, one, he keeps saying, you have the ideas, you have the time, you have this, like, and I'm like, okay, that's easier said than done, dude. Like, come on. He says that, um, I also feel like in a way it would be very hard for you to refeel that pain over and over and over again, like going through it. Um, I would have to say we need to take another year and get our stuff together and get ourselves not together, but in a place where we can look at this and say, I'm not going to let this happen to anybody else. Right. Um, but also I would say that from your area and how you feel that it shouldn't be all about, you know, let's stop this for yours it's because one person we can try to stop it but it's just so vast right all we can do pretty much as or you as a mother that went through this is to help other women clean up the mess after this right so it would be like let's say they had a child that passed away in another state right and they want to have them home well because of this if we can verify it maybe we could have the funds that would help that i don't know i've never experienced but i i imagine be expensive um or helping people um, with like if they were the sole breadwinner, right, and they paid for child support or, or child daycare and stuff, like maybe these funds go to like the mom to help get her on her feet, right, after something like this, or even, you know, just so many things. And so I would think with you, your story would be able to help people clean up the aftermath, right? And so you can support the families afterwards. So the first thing you have to do is you have to start talking about it. Right. Yeah. But you have to start talking out loud about it. And then you have to be very real about it, about what are these expenses? What happens? Like this is what it puts the family in a bind in. Right. And then you get a group group of people around and then you create, um, I don't know, like a Patreon or something. You say if you want to donate to this and you find a really good faction or you do it yourself. Right. You find people in your local community that have suffered from this and then you yourself make this nonprofit and then push these donations forward right so you talk i know tennessee um personally has a really really heavy um like this type of thing right yeah. it's really really bad in certain areas so um you are right in the heart of it to make a difference but i also think that we need about one more year of <laughs> stability you know i just want to let you know that um so i just want to let you know too that your son is not gone that he loves you that he adores you that he's around and he's trying his damnedest <laughs> to come through and he's been with me for quite a while okay so for right now because I also have to go to another session as well but I wanted to go all the way up until I could I just have a quick question oh, yes ma'am of course when, when you were doing your live you yeah. felt like he was in a lower vibration yes yes yeah and the reason for that is because he had a lot of weight on him he had a lot of weight coming through to talk about what happened once and that's how I know that he passed that way because when somebody passes that way he's not there anymore he's okay he's lighter and you'll see that my um my personality gets lighter and happier as well because think about when um i explain it this way when you're very sad when you're very distraught about something and and you're going up and talking to somebody right you're kind of lower you feel lower but then as you go and you talk and you let it off your back how do you feel relieved yeah so it's the same thing yeah. So he's had this for time doesn't really exist, but for him, he's been holding this for two years, three years, four years, I guess, two, how, how long has it been now? Two, two years. Two, two years. Okay, cool. Okay. So he's right on the path. He's been holding this for two years. And so now he's able to offload it, talk to you, make this connection. And so what happens is he raises up. That's it. It's very simple. You can see it all the time. And so now what will happen is you are going to feel lighter you are going to be, feel happier in a way you're going to feel a little bit more at peace. And so that raises your vibration as well, because he's directly connected to you. And so y'all can move up together. You here in physical and him there in spirit. Okay. Yeah. So he will be okay. I promise you don't it. This is, this is nothing, nothing odd. This is normal. Okay. And you can always feel them now. Now, another thing too, is you may have a couple of really good dreams about him because he is happier because he's, allowing things to move you may feel him a little bit more lighter and you may actually get some pr pretty decent signs out good of 
Okay. <laughs> so because he's not lower, he's not holding on to it. Also with your emotions, it holds on this too as well because y'all are connected. Okay. So if you have any questions, if you need me at all, please feel free to email me. Okay. okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And thank I, you. I adore you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. No, I adore you. I've been, like I said, I've been watching you for a while and I just, uh, I, I've been waiting for this appointment too, for a whole year. I so I know. <laughs> I know. today I, know. I was like a nervous wreck. I actually went and bought a new computer to make sure ah! None of that crap that happened in the beginning happened. And then I ended up using my phone anyway. <laughs> hey, you know what? Go return it. Go take that money and do go to Florida and tell, <laughs> tell your niece that he loves them. Tell oh, the sisters that he loves them. Tell I'm your gonna, parents. Okay. Does he know that there are three babies named after him? I can tell you he would. I can tell <laughs> you he would. Yeah. Oh, one. He's probably the one that's helping him come in too. Oh, is like one. Uh. Hold on. It's like one, his first and middle name. One is only his first name and one is only his middle name or something like that. Yeah. One is his middle name, Sebastian yeah. Ryan. Okay. One is Rylan. And yeah. then the other one is Paxton Lee, which is oh. his middle name. Okay. There you go. Yeah. He's just talking about how it's one whole, one half, one half. Yeah. So he, <laughs> he knows about it. He knows about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, well, Amy. I know you got to go. I know. I love you, honey. I'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you too. I love you too. Thank Anytime. you. You're welcome. Bye.